we will ask each of our finalists to pick a name of the judge who will then get to ask a final question. And ladies, you will only have 30 seconds before you hear this bell. Now listen, there are no right or wrong answers. Well, actually, there, there probably could be some wrong, wrong answers. answers. Let's yeah. be real here. Uh, but anyway, just be yourselves, okay? <laughs> Judges, you too. We're wishing everybody the best of luck with this one. We begin with Ohio. Come on over here. Pull a name out of this fishbowl handed to me. You have chosen judge number two, Jillian Barbary. Okay. If you could tell your younger self something that you know now as an adult, what would it be? To breathe. Life isn't as complicated as it sometimes seems, and just to relax and enjoy every moment for what it's worth. Good answer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ohio. All right, next, Kentucky, come on over. Pick your poison. All right, judge number six, Nicole Linkletter. Do you think that today's pop superstars are positive role models for young people? Why or why not? Um, I think that they're getting a little bit too much edgy. Uh, I think that they are a little bit too risque. I think there are some pop stars out there that do make girls look up to them in a positive light, but I think a little bit of it is just a little bit too much, and uh, I think they need to tone it down a little bit, so yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kentucky. Come on over to California. Pick out a name, hand it over. Oh, boy is right, huh? If I can only get it open Take here. Take your time. Take your time, it gives you more time to breathe. <laughs> Judge number eight, James Hyde. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So many families seem to be growing apart. How can we keep them together? Spending time together, I think, is the, the key um, to family staying together. Not all of us are blessed with the largest families. Um, a family can consist of two people, but it's a, a matter of spending time with one another, whether it's a mother or daughter, um, a family of 15. I think time is what keeps families together. California, thank you very, thank much. very much. Georgia. Here we go. Dig in. <laughs> All right, judge number seven, Heinz Ward. Hello, how you doing? Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can men learn most from women? From women? Yes. Oh, wow. We are a strong creature. Let me tell you, we put up with so much wearing these high heels. Come on, seriously. Like, I've been in here for three weeks wearing high heels every day. We are strong and we are empowered. And just to believe in yourself and stay strong in everything you do. Well, thank you, Georgia. All right, Florida, come on over. Take a question, pull it out. Okay, yours comes from judge number three, the Donald Trump Jr. Are we as a society getting a little too concerned with being politically correct? Hmm. Actually, um, I'd ha probably have to say maybe so. I think that. Um, especially um, in the Department of Religion, per se, that we have to um, watch our boundaries, watch what we say in our schools. They're taking a lot of um, religious terms out, out of the schooling. And um, I, think, I think that, yeah, you know, we have to, um, that, that we are becoming too conscious and of being politically correct. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Florida. Very good job, ladies. As the judges cast their final votes, let's take one more look at the top five contestants of Miss USA 2006. Now, one of these girls is minutes away from starting the most amazing, unforgettable year of her life. We begin with Ohio. Kentucky.
California. Georgia. Our five finalists from Miss USA 2006.